So one possible issue that might come up when you're trying to install UCCNC is that you've double clicked to run the installer and the computer just sits there, doesn't install. So we're going to demonstrate that right now and how to correct it. So what I have here is I'm going to double click to autoplay and run the installer. It's going to spool up, take a moment or two. I'm going to say yes. And nothing's going to happen. So it even it asked me, it was trying to open the installer, but it wouldn't install. It's just sat there and now it's done. So what that is, that UCCNC needs to run on .NET 2.0 framework. And some Windows 10 machines, it is turned off by default. So all you have to do is click on the Windows icon and then start typing turn Windows and you'll get this turn Windows features on or off. I'm going to click on that. It's going to take a moment to come up here. And this top one needs to be checked. .NET Framework 3.5 which includes .NET 2.0, which is what we need. So I'm going to click on that and then click OK. And what this is going to do is if you have a connection to the internet, it'll automatically let you choose this, download files from Windows Update. It's going to take a few moments uh, to do the install and then you'll most likely need to restart your computer afterwards. So this tape may take a couple minutes for it to download everything that it needs and install. So now Windows has completed enabling the .NET framework. So now if I go back to the drive and double click to autoplay the setup, it's going to take a moment. And now So now with that .NET framework enabled, the setup is able to run and install UCCNC.